how to vote if you are away from your voting booth. Are you wondering if you can vote in the elections if you're not at home and unable to travel on the election day? Well, you're not the only one. According to the 2011 census report, there are around 450 million internal migrants, which constitute to about 37% of the total Indian population. An internal migrant is basically someone who has moved from one place to another for either education, livelihood or other reasons. These people cannot vote because of time and money factor. They are of course unable to travel back home during elections and their votes go uncounted most often. So what is the solution here for this? Let's try and understand. There are two ways to cross this hurdle. One is the online process. For this, firstly, get your name and role in the constituency that you've moved to, then file the application in prescribed Form number 6. Now, Form 6 is basically an application for including your name in the electoral list. You can get this form from the website of the Chief Electoral Officer of your concerned state or from the website of the Election Commission of India. Now, the documents that are required for online process. For the online process, you will need a passport size colored photograph and photocopies of documentary proof of age and address proof. Now, the age proof can include mark sheets of classes 10, 8 and 5, Indian passport of course, PAN card, your driving license or Aadhaar card. And address proof. Address proof includes passport, license, passbook, ration card, IT assessment order, rent, water, telephone, electricity or gas bills or a letter delivered via the Indian Postal Department. When the Election Commission receives your Form number 6, an officer then will come to your home to verify and obtain your signature on the application form. Now comes the offline process. For the offline process, you can get your form number 6 from the offices of the electoral registration officers or the assistant electoral registration. It is of course free of cost. After that, either you can fill the form before the electoral registration officer of the home constituency or post it with relevant documents to these officers. Now, the postal address of these officers are available again on the website of the Election Commission of India. After the Election Commission receives your form number 6 with the required documents, your name will be then included in the electoral rolls within a week's time. What about students? Well, if you are a student and want to be enrolled as a voter at the place of your college or university, then you will have to include a bona fide certificate by the head of the institution with your other supporting documents. So now that you know that it's possible to vote while you're away from home too, get your name on that voter list and make your vote count.